Today you are dancing and singing. I may not understand the love you have for me. God is good. For you to sing that, somebody's hand receives six inches nails. For you to say, I'm born again, a spear went to his side. He, they pierced his side. My Bible says blood gushed out. Any of you who sing here is only singing because someone sank. For you to sing. Someone dropped from the cross. Someone was torn naked. Someone was bruised. 468 times the lashes back. He bled. And when he asked for water in anguish, agony, they gave him vinegar. Today we are singing of the goodness of Christ. But think of what he paid. And why did he pay it? Because God said, who will I send? He didn't say, here we are. Send us. Here am I. Send me. To serve God effectively, to serve God successfully, is more than God is good. All the time. That's true. But for you to be able to say that, it costs somebody something. I hope you are hearing me tonight. I'm not going to talk to you like before. And I'm not going to pray for you tonight. You pray for yourself. But listen to this. Think of a man heal the sick. Think of a man raise the dead. Think of a man cast out devil. At the end, the 12 men he worked for ran away. The 12 men he trained ran away. In Mark chapter 16, the Bible said when they were asked of all this that Jesus has done, do you believe? The Bible said in Mark 16, they believe not. They graduated from three and a half years Bible school with I believe not. Now who will God trust to commit his work to in the 15th verse of Mark 16? In their doubt, Jesus appeared and said, Take this gospel to all over the world. In my name you shall cast out devils. You will heal the sick. I cannot send the man who denied me to go and represent me. But I'm not Jesus. I cannot trust the man who said, I believe not. And say, go ye into all the world, verse 15. And preach the gospel to every creature. When you say you don't believe me, I can't send you to represent me. But I'm not Jesus. Jesus believed in them. Your dream will cost you something. Your belief will cost you something. Moses was carried and put in the river. Immediately his back touched the water. Divine power left the river and by divine interpretation went to the king's palace. Suddenly, the daughter of the king, the princess, awoke from sleep and said, I've not had my bath since morning. I'm going to go and bath. From her room to the bathroom is about 10 feet. But she said, today I'm not bathing in the bathroom. I'm going to the river. So they have to call all the soldiers in the land to block the way because the princess wants to go and swim at the river. Destiny. When she was getting near the river, she had a cry. I'm here. And whose voice? A Hebrew song. She said to the people following her, the one carrying the towel, the one carrying the soap, the one taking the perfume, the one with the body lotion, shh. Can you hear what I hear? And they said, yes, we can hear a sound. And she walked closer and saw a basket flowing towards her. And she looked, a beautiful, lovely baby. She bent down, carried the child, and shouted, I've gotten me a son. Question to you all, was she married? Please answer me. 
Has she been pregnant? Has she had a son or not? Yes, she said, I have me a son. She took the child and forgot to have her back and went back home. Danced to the father's presence and said, Daddy, I've gotten me a son. And the father called the whole leaders in the country and asked them to take care of Moses in the palace. That's the boy he was looking for. Now the boy standing before him treated as the first child of the king. Why? Destiny. When I listen to the story, the Bible says that in verse 23 of Hebrew 11, Can you all read it very loud for me to hear? By faith, when he was born, was he three months of because they saw he was a proper child and they were all right. Verse 24. By faith, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God and to en than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Verse 26, esteeming the reproach of Christ's greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. For he had recompense unto the recompense, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Let me hear you say Moses. Moses. Time must come in your life in any decision you want to take. For example, my daughter is here tonight. Her name is Ruth. Stand up, Ruth. She went to school. She finished her first degree. She started her master's. She decided to choose a course in life to pursue. Today she's in Buckingham University reading law. Is her choice. If you have no decision, you can never have direction. She's doing law. Take your seat. Feb, stand up. Some of you have seen Feb here. Yes or no? Yes. Come closer to the front here. That is the senior brother of that lady. 